Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your own practice environment and how to restore a database backup file so that you can follow along with my data analyst portfolio project tutorials. To get started, you'll need the following files. SQL Server Express 2022. This is the database engine where you are going to restore and attach a backup database file. SQL Server Management Studio. This is the tool that you're gonna to use to interact with your SQL Server run queries and manage your database. And finally, AdventureWorks DW2022 database backup file. This is a sample database that I'm gonna to use to show you guys how to restore a database backup file. And the reason for that is that sometimes I share backup files of databases so that you guys can restore those and use those in SQL Server Management Studios to practice queries and other types of data operations. Let's get started setting everything up so that you have everything you need to be able to follow along with my data analyst portfolio project videos. Okay guys, so here you can see the files that I have downloaded onto my computer. You can check the description, everything there is explained how you can also get a hold of these files and download them onto your computer. The first thing we're gonna start with is SQL Server Express Edition. So let's just double click that and then just accept the installation prompt. Um, it's fairly basic and straightforward. Um, you know, you get some options here. You're gonna select basic, uh, you know, yes, you accept. And then there's a location where you can install. Nothing, you know, nothing fancy, nothing advanced going on. If you decide to install somewhere else, of course you wanna take note of where that is, but I'm just gonna install at the default location. So I'm just gonna install. Um, this is gonna download now and it's gonna, uh, you know, install everything. There isn't really anything to do. Uh, underway. So I'm going to let this run and I will be back in a couple of minutes. I think it runs for like four or five minutes uh, and then we will continue continue from there. Okay, so everything has completed successfully. Um, everything looks good. Out of the stuff that you see on the screen now, it's worth um, noticing the name of the instance. You can see it here. I mark it off as SQL Express. You can only see it, also see it here on the left side. Um, just keep that in mind. Um, we're going to need that later and, and I'll come back to that. We can close this one. Um, yes. The next thing is SQL Server Management Studio. Let's start that one also. Um, also fairly straightforward. Um, you're going to start it up and it's it's mostly next, uh, you know, next, next, um, if, I, if I remember correctly. Um, default, um, default location, install, yes. It's going to load some packages and do some different things. And then when this is done, we will, uh, we will return. And then we are going to restore this AdventureWorks database backup file inside SQL Server Management Studio. So, so I'll be back in a couple of minutes when this is done. Perfect, so now that is also done. So now we can go and we can search for SQL Server Management Studio. Um, and we will open that. And now we're gonna restore this backup file into that SQL Server that we have uh, previously installed. Um, so let's just let this start up. So here you can see um, that instance name that I mentioned before. Um, that is what is used here. And before that, you have your computer name. I'm just gonna copy this. Sometimes this, uh, this, this uh, uh, window doesn't show up. So you can, uh, just to show you guys how to get here, you click cancel, connect, database engine, and you get the same part. We're gonna connect to that instance. So now we are basically connected to our SQL server. Um, you can see that there are no databases here. So we need to restore that backup file so that we can uh, work on that database in SQL Server Management Studio. So we'll right click, restore database. And then you can see we're gonna to go to the device. You're gonna click the three dots. And then you're gonna add this backup file. Now what I've done is I have copied that backup file to this location. I did that previously. I recommend that you guys do the same thing. It's easier to find it there because it, it just shows up in this folder. You click okay, okay. And then it's just okay. And now you can see that the database has been restored successfully. And now that it's been restored, you can see it here on the right side. We click the plus sign, tables, and then you will see a bunch of different tables. So, you know, in one of these, you can go dim employee, right click, select top thousand rows, and we're basically running a SQL query on top of that database. Um, so that is just how that works. And again, the purpose of this is that you know how to restore 
a database backup file in SQL Server Management Studio so that if you want to follow along with my portfolio projects, you know how to restore a database backup file, which I might share with you guys, um, which we can work on, do SQL and do different data operations on. So it's important to know how to do this. Um, let me close this one. Um, we go back here. The last thing is to install Power BI Desktop. So you're just gonna click this and then basically you're just going to go next, next through the installation. It's, it's very straightforward, it's quite simple. Um, if I click next, it's gonna ask me to repair or remove um, because I have Power BI Desktop already installed. Um, and just for the sake of the video, there's no point uninstalling it because it's fairly straightforward. But after you have next, uh, nexted through the installation, then you have everything set up to be able to follow along with my data analyst portfolio project videos. So now that you have your environment set up and you know how to restore a database backup file in SQL Server Management Studio, you are ready to dive into the data analyst portfolio project tutorials that I have on my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on my videos. If you have any questions about the installation process or any issues, then leave a comment in the comment section and I will get back to you guys there. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.